Hello, hello, this is Natalie, your favorite handstand teacher, and this video is about how to round your back in a press. And I'm wearing my extra nice uh, open back top here so that you can see every single muscle in my back working on the round back. Why do we need a round back? Well, we need a round back if we want to do a nice, smooth, easy press, for example, here. And then we want to have a nice round back when we go down. And of course, when we go up again, we don't want to be here, but we want to be here. So in all of these exercises, um, keeping a round back means that your pathway is smoother and easier. So here are my top exercises. Number one and easiest exercise, mini handstand. Starting already with the round back, push yourself up here, keep the round back as you are up on the tip of your toes and only on your big toe and you hold it here. So this is quite difficult. If you want to make it harder, you move further to the front and here you should easily be able to keep the round back that you have established here in your four point position. Here you can start with a cat back and then push it back up here. Want to take it one step further, you put your feet up on any elevation, chair, couch, anything you got, same thing. Start here with a round back, keep the round back, feet up here, keep the round back. You want to make it harder. Bring your knees closer and the hips a bit lower. Otherwise, you can hold it here, keeping the round back. I always say that in order to round your back, you have to pull your stomach muscles in and underneath the ribs. So you can try this standing or sitting, pull the stomach muscles in and underneath the ribs and you will feel that automatically this makes you round your back. It's a little bit here like the exorcist, like what's this horror movie called? Where you're like rise. So you want to feel like someone's pushing you here from underneath the ribs, stomach muscles in and 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 try to pull the muscles under the ribs, which I don't know whether it's actually possible, but it feels like that. Very important when you round your back, you also have to move your shoulders to the front like this. But if you don't do that, it's very difficult to round. Push the chest out to the front and here on the way back, you round as much as possible, making sure that you're pushing into the upper back here. We don't want to, and that's why I like to do this exercise actually sitting here on the knees because it makes sure that you don't just move the hips back. We don't just like want to rotate the hips here. We want to actually round from the upper back, pushing the shoulders to the front and then open and then close again, making sure you really push into that area behind the shoulder blades. If you find you keep straightening your back in the press, most likely it's because you don't have enough shoulder strength yet to hold that position. And also make sure you watch your neck. We don't want any turtlenecks in the press. So make sure that your neck does not move to the front because that will automatically straighten your back and prevent you from rounding. If you want to round your back, your neck needs to be in line with the rounding here. So this is how we want to start the press. And if this keeps happening to you, it's most likely because you don't have enough strength yet or because you keep sticking your head out like a turtle. So do not stick your head out like a turtle round neck and round back. I hope this helped you to find more roundness in your back in the handstand. Thank you very much for watching. I'm going to put a follow along press to handstand routine in the description box and I see you in the next video.